September 5th, 2021. Out here after work with my buddy Hunter. We're gonna see if we can glass up this buck I spotted the other day. We're in the low country desert stuff right now. Last time I was in here, there was a herd of elk. There was, I think, four or five doe I saw. And then there was that nice buck up there. It's two o'clock right now. We're gonna get up here and start glassing. We're gonna see if we can spot that buck up on this hill and then come up with a game plan to stalk him. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad, man. He's not bad. He's got forks. Yeah, he's got little forks. I'll go for him. He's moving right now. Have him look before he moves. There. Hunter and I have been glassing for like three and a half hours. It's 5.30 right now. Finally laid eyes on a, a few mule deer. We got a buck and a doe up here. It kind of looks like the same buck I spotted last time. And he's deep. He's good enough for me. You know? Good enough for me. All I want is forks. I just want G2s that are split. That's all I really want. So, and it's 5.30 right now. It gets dark about 9. We got, we got a lot of time for this. I'm about to cover some ground. For sure to get above them but it's gonna try to figure out a little game plan here try to find the easiest route right, we're gonna move up the hill a little more get around this little bend so we can see them better keep better tabs on them all right Hunter and I come up with a game plan I'm just gonna try to sneak in there I guess Hunter's gonna stay here with the main camera I'm gonna take the GoPro we're gonna try to make this happen we got, what, three and a half, maybe four hours until dark. And, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll try to get my bow range. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Let's get him. Peace out. Peace out, Dan. Seven o'clock right now. Those deer ended up bedding back down, but it's just too late to really make a move. This is such remote country. I mean, it's just cliffs, and it's very loud. The day wind shut off, and it is quiet out. These deer would hear me coming from a mile, so I'm gonna play it safe and back out. Come in here with a different game plan next time. I'm gonna link back up with Hunter. He's over there. This is just rock slide after rock slide. That's a big buck and he's big for a reason, man. This is not easy country. Well, it's September 6th today. I'm out here solo. 
back in the same drainage where Hunter and I were yesterday. That put us talk on that big buck. Different game plan today. I'm not going to be getting on that knob and glass anymore. I'm going to climb all the way up and get on the ridge above all of this. That way if I do spot a buck, I'll be able to drop straight down on him. It's 2 o'clock right now. It's pretty warm. We've got a heck of a hike up there. So I'm shirtless. You're going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. I'll put a shot on when I get up there, I swear. So let's hit the trail. Well, lack of trail. I'm just hiking up a mountain. There's no trail. <laughs> well, I'm up on top now. This smoke sucks. So bad. Anything outside of 300 yards is heavily blurred. That buck's first bed was up right down here when I first saw him. And the other one is over there. Can't even see it right now. I'm just walking this ridge. I'm gonna get, this is that big saddle right here. shed as a drop tine. Holy smokes. This is my fourth shed I found here. I found three yesterday when Hunter and I were walking out. One of them was really nice. I forgot to film one. This is a giant. Holy smokes. I only a year old. Year two old. That's my first ever drop tine shed. I think it's a shed 67 on the year. What a giant. Wow. Well, I don't think I'm gonna find this buck today. I've been all over this. September 7th. Out here exploring some new country this evening. Just doing a lot of glassing from the truck, seeing what I can find. I think I just glassed up like a giant shad or a deadhead up there. I'll be able to see it better when I put it on the computer and can edit it and zoom in. But right now it, it does look like a big old shad up there. Can't tell. I mean, if that's a mule deer shed, it's massive. But I'm calling that a for sure shed. I'll have to go up there one day and get it. Looks like another shed over there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if those are sheds, then nobody's picking them. I'm sure there's nobody in there for a tree hunting mule deer. Way more people shed hunting than uh, archery tree hunting mule deer here. <laughs> and there's elk up there. Nobody's up there, man. Nobody's hunting this stuff. <laughs> Look, I have this all to myself. Besides me, I 
it should be coming up on this shed here. There it is. Ooh, it's a giant mule deer shed. That's what I thought it was. Look how big that. That is a giant mule deer. Oh my god.